Step one, CH3, CH, double bond CH2. Okay, we have a catalytic amount of acid H+. That H plus could be HCl, it could be H2SO4. Those are the two common. All right, what will happen is that their pi bond between the right carbon and the middle carbon will attack the H plus. And this is what happens, CH3, CH. Now the double bond is a single bond. And now you have a third hydrogen attached to that right carbon and you have a positive charge on the metal carbon. Step two, the reactant in step two is the product in step one, CH3, CH, CH2H. You have a positive charge on the metal carbon. This is where the H2O enters the picture. So you have a positive charge on the carbon and you have two lone pairs on the oxygen. That one of the two lone pairs attacks the positively charged carbon. This is what you get. CH3, CH, CH2H. And now you have a, you now have a covalent bond between the middle carbon and the oxygen on H2O. You still have one lone pair on the oxygen and a positive charge. Okay. Step three. So we start with the product in step two. CH3, CH, O, H, H, positive CH3. You are swimming in a sea of H2O. So another molecule of H2O will grab an H off of that, um, the organic ion. And what happens is that their, that their bond between the O and the H goes to the oxygen as a second lone pair, and I have CH3, CH, CH3. Now the oxygen has just one H and two lone pairs. In the process, you produce H3O+. And the H3O+, equilibrates to H2O plus H plus. So in the beginning, you used up the H plus, but at the very end, the H plus was regenerated. Regenerated. So we say that the H plus is a catalyst. 